Hey everyone, it's Elias with RV Simple Life. I'm coming to you today with two quick 10 minute mods uh, for your storage compartment area uh, in your RV. Uh, the first thing uh, that we're gonna do is uh, set up a, uh, an installation to be able to keep your broom out of the way. Uh, we have our broom in our, in our tool area and it's always in the way moving around back and forth. And so I finally want to mount that to the wall. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. And then after that, we're gonna install a Sinerstra. That's right, you heard me right, a Sinerstra. If you don't know what that is, I didn't know what it was before this either. If you don't know what it is, stay with me. I'm gonna show you what that is. I bought this uh, just universal uh, kind of hooks. It's called a tool hook. I bought it at the Dollar Tree actually. And, uh, but it came with, it says five of these here, but uh, I wound up with six of them somehow. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I only need two of them. And uh, we're gonna use this to, uh, to hook up our broom uh, in our storage bay. I'm kind of trying to get it mounted on this wall here. Um, my idea is to get it mounted like this up here, not blocking that light down there. And then of course not blocking my shutoff switch. So I want it to go as high as possible because right below that, I want to put something else. All right, we're gonna get our first bracket up here. These are not very far, long screws, pretty short. Um, they're not holding much weight with just with this broom. Good. Yeah, it feels good. It's going to hold good. Let's get the other one in. I might have to go from the other side there. Okay, I'm not going to get it from the other side. The other side is too skinny. Or I should say I'm too fat. Oh yeah, this will work. So... That actually could have been at a little more of an angle so it supports better. But I'm gonna try and put this all the way down here. Something like that. That way it gets on this, this here. I don't know if the broom's in the way or not, but we're gonna move it out. It might have been hindering me some. will actually fit on like this. That's pretty big. <laughs> Alright, let's check the put it on the other side. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. So really happy with that. Hopefully that'll stay on there. And it was just laying down here on the floor. It was in the way all the time so I'm glad I got that done. Alright so that's the final product there. Uh, the broom in place at a good angle. This front, this first bracket over here could have been at a little better angle, but um, I'm very happy with it. I think that's going to hold. Now the dustpan may wind up falling off, but uh, if it does, we'll wind up doing something to keep it on there. But very happy with the way that is. Looks good up out of the way. 
plenty of room down here at the bottom to be able to do other things I need to do. Okay, so I'm gonna tight I'm gonna uh, install this Sinerstra. 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 I don't know what that means, but it means to me it's a rack, it's a bracket with a bunch of little cup things that will hold on to it. Sinerstra. So um, I don't know if this this is actually required for it because it looks like these will just clip right onto the bracket, but we'll find out here in a minute. Um, these came from Ikea. Um, we did not buy them new. Um, I think we got, yeah, here it is. Buck 50 for the whole set. I probably only paid a dollar for them because you, you haggle at garage sales like we do. Robin is the best at it, to be honest. We're not, but I was thinking about these, you know, on the bracket like that, just to put little bits and bobs in. I have a lot of little things, rolls of tape, little knives, little this, little that, um, pipe tape, uh, glue, just little things that are just taking up a lot of room. And I thought if I can get this up out of the way and then I can just kind of pull these down, just pull it, just detach it from the, from the bracket to get what I need and then pop it back up there. I thought, well, that might be handy. So let's get this thing installed. I'm gonna get it uh, installed right below the broom here. But my idea is to put it right here, this, the Sinerstra, the bracket with the baskets, the basket bracket, put it right here uh, to be able to put little bits and bobs in it, uh, bungee cords, just different things, you know, like right here, I've got roll of tape, I've got my, my, my emergency light, which I'll probably leave that here, but I just have a lot of little, little things, you know, here's a, here's a light, um, more lights right here. Um, I've got just a lot of little things in here. So I want to be able to kind of keep them up and out of the way because when they're on the floor, they kind of start moving around, scattering around. Then all of a sudden, um, it's kind of turns into be a mess on here. So it's all about organization and organizing this tool bay. So I've been very happy with this here. Um, very happy with the way I have my power tool set up. If I don't break them. And so uh, if you haven't seen that video, uh, I've got a video about when I install that. I'll, I'll link that in the upper right hand corner so you can check that out. But let's add on. Let's put it in right here, right now. All right, so let's just get this thing unpackaged here. Okay, so it takes like a little Allen wrench. And they include a wicket, so that's good. These little IKEA uh, things you buy. Uh, they can be interesting uh, sometimes. Okay, so I'm supposed to take these out. Once again, interesting IKEA stuff. So I gotta take these out, both of these. Does not come with a screw to put it in the wall. It wants me to do my own, which I've got some, so that's fine. And while I got this out, let me just double check to see if these clip on here or not. They do, they do. They are pretty tight. I mean, they, they will move, but it takes a little bit of friction, so I don't think those are gonna pop off. So, all right, found me a couple of a couple of small screws here. It's a good idea when you can just to hold on to extra stuff like that because you never know when you'll need something. And um, I don't like to hold on to a lot like that because it gets to bothering me, all the different loose ends I have around, but it's a good idea to have have a couple at least. All right, I'm gonna climb in here now. All right, so these holes gotta be at the bottom. So we're gonna put this one in like this. This one, is like actually like this, that, and that. And then these will it in there like so. Alright, that worked. That's gonna work. This is just about perfect because of this and that. And I want things closer to I want things closer that way to the door to be able to reach things when I need them. Um, I could actually put it down here. That's too low. You gotta, you gotta make room, you gotta make use of space up because um, the floor space is valuable and you wanna be able to keep that for stuff you definitely need. So I'm just gonna flip this over. I'm really not gonna measure this, I'm just gonna eyeball it. 
Um, I have another video I want to put in. I put on a Max Air Fan cover and I just eyeballed it and I messed it all up. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that video, I'll link in the upper right hand corner. But I, I was talking about making sure you measure and making sure you do all that. And here I am again um, saying just the opposite. So I mount it right here. The baskets will hang maybe down to here. Um, if I go up a little higher, I should be able to do that. So I'm going to lower it right here. And I'm going to put my first one right here. I'm going to hold it there while I get my drill out. All right, that looks good. Mounted right there. So then this will go like this in here. So I get the other one in over here, right about here. Tighten that down. That's very tight. Okay, that's good. Hopefully I didn't move that when I was when I was doing that. Okay. Hopefully that hold. Get these little funny Allen wrench screws in. It's kind of a nice little prof low profile kind of a little rack uh, to put little bits and bobs. I think it's maybe like a bathroom or something. All right, looks good. It's nice and solid on there. Let's get the uh, let's get the cups on here and see how they look. what it looks like all done very happy with it it's on there nice and solid these um these aren't going anywhere i mean they will come off easily you got you know put your little bits and bobs in there and you gotta get it out and then time to put it back set it right back on there and it will slide back and forth let's get some things to put them in there all right got some things inside there um at the very end here i give just some of these extra brackets i have for my uh, blink uh security cameras uh, here i have an external uh, speaker for our bike in the power cord a couple rolls of tape and in here i have uh, my clicker liar fire starter clickers um see this this is the very reason why i needed this um this solution right here because I, every time I need one of these, I can't find it and because it's rolling around somewhere or it's in my tool somewhere else. And then, um, or it's down on the edge like this, you know, and other stuff out here in the way. That's why I buy another one. And then another one. And another one. And another one, another one. This is, this is the very reason why I needed this. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. So I was probably gonna put some bungee cords up there too, but I've got them in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna be fine with that for right now. But very happy with this um, this little basket system here, uh, the Sunerstra from IKEA, brought to you by IKEA. That only took me maybe 10, 12 minutes to do. The broom um, handle uh, holders up there, uh, only about 10 minutes to do. Appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great day. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll appreciate that very much. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.